What's up guys, Dodgers Randy here for your game recap of the Dodgers 11 to seven loss against the Cardinals, which finishes up a four game sweep for the Cardinals in that series. Uh, not a good series for us, we'll dive into that. Um, but really quickly, I guess the only update I have for you guys today is Kershaw is pitching Monday. They announced that that's official, which is actually really exciting because that will be against the Reds. So against Puig and maybe even Kemp, um, excited for that matchup. And then coming into this game, the Dodgers had, and this is going to trail into the rest of the game. Going into this game, the Dodgers defense only had four errors, which was the best in the National League. If you watch this game today, the defense was horrendous. Um, not making plays they should have, or they're just throws to the wrong. It was just, it was a mess. Bad throws, couldn't make easy ground balls, miscommunication in the outfield. Um, but that definitely wasn't the biggest issue today. It was a huge issue, but not the biggest. The biggest today, unfortunately, <laughs> in my opinion, would have to be Bueller's start. Um, last season against the Cardinals, he had two appearances. He had 18 strikeouts and 15 innings and no earned runs. Um, he's going to be fine. Guys have bad games. Bueller looked good his last outing out uh, in Colorado. Struggled his first outing at home. However, remember, he did not feel 100% when he came into spring training. Only had the one start. Um, and people keep blaming the Dodgers that Bueller didn't feel good himself. So it's not just the Dodgers that held him back. Bueller also contributed to that by starting bullpens much earlier in the off season. Um, but I'm also not going to blame Bueller or the Dodgers for that because it happens. Um, he's not going to pitch like this all season. For some reason today, he just did not have his command. Although with Martin being out, Rocky Gale uh, started, which was his first start for the Dodgers, got called up from AAA, and he caught the game today, which is a little bit of where I think maybe all of this comes in. Terrible day at the plate, not the biggest deal. Um, however, I wonder how his pitch calling went, his game calling, um, if Bueller was shaking off certain pitches because he wasn't comfortable throwing it, if Gale was having a hard time knowing what to call because he just came up from AAA, hasn't really caught Bueller. I'm sure he did at the AAA level or in spring training at some point, but still, that's not really the greatest matchup. Now, I understand the reason for doing it because Barnes played last night, early game today, and they want to have Barnes go probably almost every single game until Martin is back. Um, but obviously, he'll have to sit one or two catchers, take a beating. But Bueller just didn't look good out there. When he started the game off, first inning, looked solid, had a fly out, two strikeouts, and then after that, his command just became... A disaster. He only went four innings. He gave up five hits with five earned runs and five strikeouts. Um, but he just, for some reason, he couldn't get it going. He loaded the bases with no outs in the second inning, then hit a guy to bring that in or to bring him in. Ended up having a wild pitch that inning, which scored two runs, which is so terrible when a wild pitch when a guy scores from second. Um, and then the third inning, another a double infield single. It just it seemed like it was never ending for him. Fifth, fourth inning, he had a one, two, three, looked really good. Um, but he just he wasn't good on the mound today. However, to take the positive out of this and have some fun, he did hit a home run today. So his first career home run. Um, it was actually really exciting. It was really cool to see how happy he was. You can see the pictures on the Dodgers Instagram or Twitter. But I'm happy for him. He's a hell of a pitcher. This isn't going to last. I'm not stressed out about it. The sweep sucks. Um, but I have my own theory for the sweep. I really think this sweep is going to change a lot of things. Um, I think we're going to see it light a fire under the player's ass when they get home tomorrow or today. Um, and they're going to come out ready to go. I guarantee you they're more pissed off than any one of us fans out there can possibly even imagine being that angry. Um, these guys aren't happy. They're the ones out there playing. It's their career. They're coming in to play the Brewers, which is obviously a rematch of last year's NLCS. Last thing they want is to come home and be embarrassed by the Brewers after looking pathetic in St. Louis. Um, so I just, I don't see this sticking. And like I mentioned yesterday, although many people didn't watch it and I don't blame you, yesterday's game was terrible. Um, last year, the Dodgers got swept by the Cardinals at home. It was three games, not four games, but got swept by the Cardinals at home and then won eight out of their next nine games. Things like this turn teams around. A good team is not going to let a sweep come in and have their... A good team is going to go out and win tomorrow and they're going to start a winning streak. They're not going to go out tomorrow and lose and have the 
a losing streak move up to five, six, seven. So tomorrow is going to be telling. Um, obviously, if they did come away with a loss, I'm going to start kind of at that point being a little curious as to what's going on and why things are happening the way they are because it just doesn't seem right. Um, but offense came out today. They, they looked really good from the very beginning of the game. I mean, Jock led the game off with a triple. Turner brought him in with a sack fly. Then Seeger followed it up with a single. Um, and then it just it just seemed like it kept going. Freeze had a home run, RBI single. Kike had two run home run. Uh, Bueller, like I said, had his home run. But other than that, I mean, they scored seven runs. Today, the blame can't go on the offense. They did what they needed to do. But it was it was a really rough game for Bueller. Um, but to give you guys an idea, because I see a lot of blame falling on the bullpen, um, a lot more blame needs to fall on starting pitching, honestly. This series alone, just the Cardinal series, um, starting pitchers have given up 16 runs, and the Dodgers or the bullpen has given up eight. And these are earned runs. Um, bullpen gave up more or gave up, I think, what it would have been nine today with an error, but earned runs. The bullpen's given up half as many runs as the starting pitchers, and they've pitched more innings. All four games this series, uh, the Dodgers starting pitcher had given up at least two or more runs. Uh, Ryu gave up two, didn't even go two innings because he got hurt. Stripling gave up four. I think he went, he pitched four innings, four or five. Uh, Maeda yesterday, I believe, was four, three or four. Same thing, only went a few innings. Bueller today, same thing, five runs, four innings. The bullpen is taking a beating right now. It makes sense that they don't look that good out there. They have not. Colorado kicks your ass, first of all. I went there as a fan last year, and I struggled. I can't imagine what the players are feeling like on that field. Um, someone had mentioned before today's game, Turner put on eight pounds of water weight alone, just making sure he wouldn't be dehydrated in Colorado. Now I get it. It's not an excuse. Every team, at least every National League team, has to go to Colorado and play. So it can't be an excuse. They can't get swept after every Colorado series. But there also has to be, in my mind, an understanding, at least for me, this is how I feel. I have an understanding of this stuff because it's a long grind. I also just don't want to get angry because it's, we're what, eight and six now? So we're 14 games into the season and I'm not trying to like stress myself out right now. I save that for the playoffs. During the playoffs, totally different story. Um, but I'm just, I'm not worried. This time last year, oh my God, I, I don't even know what the record was, but we were below 500 and we made it to the World Series. This year, we're above 500 and we're scoring a lot of runs. Um, I still think coming into today's game, oh, I forgot to write it down. Um, coming into today's game, the Dodgers led the, still lead, oh, probably not. Well, they might actually still today because they scored seven runs, leading the National League in runs, home runs, and team batting average. That is still incredible. They're, even after three miserable games in St. Louis, they're still leading. That means this offense is doing well. Maybe not these three games, but other than that, I don't have a complaint with the offense. I think except for one game, I want to say maybe against the Giants that they just didn't look good. But they're going to turn it around. Let's see. Chargois gone. New guy came in. Uh, Jamie Schultz. He actually pitched today. Had a 1-2-3 inning. Chargois gone. Come Sunday, Jamie Schultz will be gone, or Monday, come come Monday, Jamie Schultz will probably be gone sooner because they're going to need a starter for Saturday, unless it's Dennis Santana. Jamie Schultz will be gone on Monday. That brings Kershaw back into the rotation. So rotation's getting better already. Um, very soon, Hill is going to be coming back. That pushes Urias to the bullpen, or Ryu. If Ryu or Hill, whoever comes back first, that pushes Urias to the bullpen. Bullpen instantly gets better. Someone else has to be sent down. Uh... I don't know who it's going to be. I, my guess is it's going to be Garcia, although he can't be sent down, so he will have to be DFA'd. But there, already, bullpen gets better. Um, and then once, like I said, Hill or Ryu, whichever one comes back first, puts Urias in, whichever one comes back second, we'll put Stripling in. Again, bullpen gets better. They're so close to having the entire team healthy and the way they need it. There's always going to be injuries. Um... But speaking of that really quickly, since I forgot to mention it, Seager did get hit by a pitch today. He was pulled from the game. It does not sound serious at all. It hit him like in the back of the hamstring, like right above the knee. Um, it was just a bruise. My guess is his movement running and trying to feel ground balls probably wasn't going to be at the best of his ability. So they pulled him. I would expect to see him in tomorrow's game. Um, it just, it didn't hit a bone or anything. So they're not worried about something being broken. And really other than a bone breaking, 
there's not really any more damage that getting hit by a pitch can do um besides obviously just hurt really bad so that's my guess he'll be back tomorrow not stressed on that but this team's gonna come together I promise you guys this isn't going to last and they're coming home and things are gonna change maybe they don't change against the Brewers I hope they do they're playing a really crappy team in the Reds um that one to me we have to sweep i know puig's gonna come out and play hard i know farmer kemp all those guys i don't know if wood's back i know he was hurt to start the season but we should sweep those guys a hundred percent if we do not win that series i will be just as disappointed as everyone else who freaks out because there's no excuse for that but we should sweep that series um dodgers don't have an off day till next thursday so a week from now 17 straight games is exhausting and a lot this bullpen needs a rest. Um, so right now, in my mind, the most important thing is these starters have to go at least six innings. The bullpen is pitching way too many innings. To have your bullpen pitch four or five innings every single day is not sustainable, and that's how guys are going to get hurt. So if Urias can give them six or even seven, if he if he's on his command and his command's there, he can go six or seven innings, no problem. Um, and I don't think they'll pull him pitch count because I'm pretty sure he can do it in 80-something, less than 90 pitches. So if they can get six or seven out of him, that's a huge start um, to kind of get things going. Saturday, we don't know who it is. Hopefully, whoever it is, same thing, at least six innings. Um... And then Sunday is Stripling? No, Maeda? I think Maeda maybe? I don't know who it is. It was supposed to be Ryu, now everything's all messed up. And then Kershaw Monday. Um, so these guys are gonna get it together. But other than that, I mean, all we can do is hope and keep watching. I will of course be at the game tomorrow night against the Brewers. My plan is to make every game this homestand, no reason not to. Even the miserable Wednesday 12 p.m. games, I hate those because I end up sitting in two hours of traffic after the game, but I haven't missed a game yet, so I'm going to try and stick that out as long as possible until exhaustion kicks in. <laughs> um, but other than that, I know it sucks. Hopefully you guys can enjoy the rest of your day. I'm going to. I'm going to get over this game, and I'm excited to be there tomorrow. Um, reminder, I will be doing the live stream at about 4.30-ish or so. I should have put this in the beginning of the video because a lot of people don't wa watch it till the end. Um, but let's have some questions tomorrow and I'll see you guys when I'm at the stadium. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as you possibly could after a sweep and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.